Well, we got some snow yesterday. Oh. And um, you can see how the wind blows. And the snow comes in. Any nook and cranny you have open in the barn, but it's all right. It's still relatively warm in here. <clears throat> you ready to come out? Okay, well, we have to take that blanket off. And I want to clean your, your feet, your hooves. So, um, let me open this gate. Get the camera situated. And we'll take care of you. Send you out. At least three days. So, I'm going to take it off. She's pretty good probably enjoy having it off right now okay let's see the buckles oh the buckles are on this side you got the two straps underneath you got the buckles up front and in the back here you got these two lanyards that in effect go under between her legs I don't like to walk behind her, so let me go on this side, and no, 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 careful, careful, get this one off, all right, everything off now, jeez, you don't give me much room, okay, watch out, a lot of, all right, let's take this off. Okay, that feel better. And I'm gonna just put it down here for now. Put it up in the, the hay rack. Let me just shake her up a little bit. Good girl. All right, now I wanna clean out our hoofs. We'll start with this front one here. Come on, lift up. Oh, it's been a while since I get all that crud out of there. Come on, there we go. Oh. It's amazing how the stuff you clean out of there smells nasty, but okay, come on. Her back, she's a little, a little tight, but you can still get to it. Okay, now we'll do the other side. Good girl. Good girl. Give me some space. I need room. I need room. Okay, hold up. Hold it. Lift. Good girl. Good girl. As you clear it out, you know, you try to get as much as you can, but as soon as she walks outside, puts the weight on it it's gonna fill it back up anyway so good girl good girl all right last one up lift up lift up this one this one she gets a little tight on but uh, come on it's okay it's okay it's okay come on Lift up. Good girl. Come on. All right, good enough, I guess. All right, let me open it up. You're okay. Be patient. Go ahead, go. Out she goes. Go ahead, see what it's like out there. Come on, I'll walk with you. Come on, I did a path earlier. Come on. We have a, uh, oh, it's probably a foot of snow. Maybe higher in some of the drifts. 
Uh, what I'll do is I'll go up, up in the barn there and open that door. We'll do a nice look around, see the path and see what Lacey's up to. And all right, so going up into the loft is always an adventure. We have the uh, the ladder that's built up in the barn itself, but I also have this other just I don't know ladder I just put here just for uh, storage. So as we go up here, actually let me hit the light. As we go up here, who knows what we'll see? Okay, so far so good. Let me make my way up. Okay, here we are. Nice uh, space. Here's the barn door. I'll unhatch it. Hey, what are you doing? Take a walk around. So I did the uh, the path, you know, I guess along that fence line around over this way. She likes to spend some time over by the trailer here, it's kind of a security spot. Horses like to feel secure. They're uh, they're all about safety. So if they feel safe, they're good. If they feel threatened, then that's where there's an issue. So you want to give them a nice safe spot. She won't go back there. I mean, the other thing horses do, they live to eat. If there's something they can eat, they'll go after it. But rarely you see them just walk around just because they're bored. Uh, so it looks like she's probably getting some water or doing something. Let me extend her out this way. Oh, there she is. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's a great view from up here, you know? But uh, she's gonna walk around. I'll get down, put that blanket away and uh, take care of some other things. All right, so on the blanket, I like to hang them up over here. They really don't get any, they really don't get wet. At least she doesn't get them wet. And I don't have it on her that frequently. Probably uh, four or five times a year. I usually gauge it where if the temperature is going to be 10 degrees or lower, wind chill, I'll put a blanket on her. Um, but they develop a pretty uh, thick coat, keeps them warm. I mean, if you think about deer, moose, um, other wildlife, they're out in the elements all the time. So a horse, while somewhat domesticated, they have the same type of uh, survival system with them as well. And her body stays nice and nice and warm, right? You hear me talking about you? <clears throat> now, as you can see, she gets nosy and with the blanket away. No, 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 no. Leave the bucket alone. Uh, she should be all set. I'll, uh, don't go in there. Dang. There she goes. So, you know, there's no reason for her to walk in that area of the barn other than just curiosity. Um, I usually have the, this, this gate right here. When it's open, it's closed so she doesn't go in. So she's taking advantage of 
that little situation. Um, so let me get her out of there. I'll shut this gate and um, we'll see what's going on. Okay, she made her way out and, and I opened this gate here and I put the chair there. Um, sometimes just a visual barrier is enough for a horse. Um, that's one of the interesting psychological things is a horse will think they're constrained by the simplest of things. You can put like a lead rope around them and loop them around. Put a lead rope here and loop it around, something like this. And visually they'll think they're tied, but in reality they're not. Um, so anyway, the chair, hopefully she won't. Oh, come on. You re Really? I think she is just bored. She wants to, to poke around at things. So I'll, I'll fix that chair a little bit. This is her little temporary stall. She's searching for food, that's what it is. And I, I just fed her her morning. Morning or... What are you doing? All right, I'm gonna leave you alone because I think with me here, you're just trying to make your hunger known and you're not gonna get any food, it's too early. Um, all right, I'm gonna shut this down and uh, we'll go outside the barn and see what's going on. So we're going for a little bit of a walk here along the path I did earlier. Come on, let's see what we got. I mean, I did with the snow blower, you know, got the majority of the snow off, uh, a little bit of a grass coming through, but she has her muzzle on and uh, the muzzle is really just to control her diet because she'll overeat. So we don't want that to happen. Maybe she just wanted some uh, company, which is fine. I'm going to go for a walk with her. Yeah. You see this? It's nice. I'll turn it around this way. See what we got going on. Got the nice path. Otherwise, it'd be really thick snow. Here she is. Eyeballing. Eyeballing the uh, the grass, looking outside. Sometimes she'll see deer back there. Uh, you know, probably her friends <laughs> from a wildlife standpoint. But okay, we're gonna keep walking. And uh, a little resting oh resting spot over here. It looks like she already came over here and did a uh, back scratch. You can see her impression on the ground. And I did the path over to the uh, kind of run-in area. She likes to go over there again, just from a safety standpoint. So. Alrighty, um, I, I can't say out all day with you in the pasture, so um, you're going to be on your own for a little bit. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed today's video. It was just a, a day in the life, if you will, of taking care of Lacey, taking her blanket off, and enjoying the snow. Um, look for more videos soon. And she will be being a nuisance as she puts her butt in my face. All right. See you later.